Hi guys, so we've been looking at how to convert common fractions like 3 over 4 to decimals. So we would typically try to change this number to a 10, a 100, or a 1000. And so for example in this one you would have times top and bottom by 25, which would then give you 75 over 100. And then there's two zeros, and so you would move it two places back, and so you would end up with comma 75, and then would add a zero in the front because it just looks a bit weird when there's nothing in front of the comma. But now what we need to know is how do we go from a decimal back to a common fraction? So for example, I could give you 0, 0,48, and you need to convert that to a common fraction. So what you've got to do is you always got to try to get this, decimal back to the end again. So how many places is that? Well, that's two. What that means is that the original fraction must have had a hundred at the bottom, and then the original number was 48. Let's see if that works, because if I gave you this question in the previous lesson, you would say, oh, well, the decimal's here, and there's two zeros, so I'm going to move it one, two, and that would give you 0, 0,48, and so we can change 0, 0,48 into 48 over 100. Now, that's not the end of the story. You would now type that into your calculator and let it simplify. Or you could do it yourself, but I typically advise students just to type it in onto your calculator at that point, and that gives you 12 over 25. So if we have 4, 3, 2, all you have to do is imagine, you have to imagine taking that decimal back, so that's two places, and so the number at the bottom will be 100, and then you literally just write this number at the top, 4, 3, 2, and that's it. Because you can imagine that if I gave you this in the previous lesson, you would move it two decimal places like that, and that would give you 4, 3, 2. Are you guys ready to practice? Let's do this. Okay, so here's four questions. If you want, you can pause the video and have a go yourself. So we've got 2, 0, 4. So all we do is we look at the comma, and we see how many decimal places that is. That's 2. So we write it over 100. You then just write the number, 204. You then need to simplify. So we know that 204 over 100, if you go type that in on the calculator, that gives you 51 over 25. But now this is improper because the number at the top is larger. So 25 can fit into 50 twice, and then you'll be left with 1 over 25. And so there we have converted into a fraction. Now we've got 804,25. So all we do is we look at the decimal, and we see that it's two places, so that's going to be over 100. You then write this number, 80425. You then type that in on the calculator. The calculator then simplifies that to 3214, sorry, 3217 over 4. Now, this one's quite crazy. You've got to see how many times does 4 fit into 3217. Well, I would say 3217 divided by 4 on the calculator, and you get 804,25. So what I would write is, is it, it definitely goes in 804 times, and then 804 times by 4 is 3,216, so that means we have one left over, and so I'd say one over four. Are you ready to practice? Well, here we go, here's four questions. So here we see that there are two decimal places, so that's gonna be written over 100. And then you simply write, okay, so now the number in the two, you can just leave that in the front, and then you write the rest of the number. Now, zero, 04, you're not gonna write zero, 04. Zero, 04, you'll just write it as four. Great. Then this you can just type in on the calculator so that it can simplify it a little bit further for you. So you're going to end up with 2 and 1 over 25. For the next one, you ignore the 804 and you just look at the 2, so that's one decimal place. So that's over 10, so that's a 2 over 10. And then the 804 can just hang out in the front. You then type this on the calculator and it will simplify. And so your final answer will be 804 and 1 over 5. Here we have one, two, three decimal places, so that's going to be written over a thousand. You then write four, one, four. The six, eight, three can just hang out in the front, like that. You can then type this on the calculator just so that it can simplify for you. And so you're going to end up with six, eight, three, and then that simplifies to 207 over 500. Here's the next one, so that's three decimals, so that's 824 over 1000. 
you then type that in on the calculator so that it can simplify for you and that gives you 103 over 125. Here's some more guys, so you can try these yourself if you want. So here's two decimal places, so that's just going to be over 100, and then that's just 83. You can then type that in on the calculator and see if it simplifies a bit further, but this one doesn't, so that is the answer. Here you've got three decimal places, so it will be over 1000, and then you just write the number 42. You then type it in on the calculator, and so that's 21 over 500. The next one is you've got three decimal places, so then that's a thousand, and then you've just got the number one, two, three. Type it in on the calculator, but I don't think that one will simplify more. Nope, that is the answer. And then here you've got three decimal places, and so that's over a thousand. The two can just hang out in the front, and then the four, eight, three just goes at the top like that. You can then type this in on the calculator, four, eight, three over a thousand but it doesn't simplify, and so that is the answer. Okay guys, here's the last four questions. So with one like this, you just leave the 43 in the front, you then look at the two decimal places, so that's gonna be a number written over 100, and then it's just 24. You then type in the 24 over 100 in your calculator, just so that it can simplify it for you, and so you end up with 43, and the 6 over 25. 80, 0, 4. You leave the 80 alone, so it's just going to hang out there. Then it's going to be 4 over. That is two decimal places, so that's 100. And so you type in the 4 over 100 on the calculator, it simplifies to 1 over 25. This one, we've got 32, two decimal places, so that's over 100. Type it in on the calculator, and that gives you 8 over 25. Last one. 32, four decimal places, so your number has to have four zeros, like that. Type it in on the calculator, and you end up with an answer of 2 over 625. Guys, I hope you can see how super easy it is to convert from decimal fractions to common fractions. Thanks for watching.